Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a variety of candies for you. These are new high chews. They are the dessert mix. Um, this one is the Toxic Waste Slime Liquor Blue Raz Sour Filled Milk Chocolate Bar. And this is the Sour Punch Bites Pickle Roulette. So you don't know what you're going to, if you, you might get a pickle in there. So those, uh, these two were bought at Five Below. The pickle was a dollar fifty. The uh, blue, it was three dollars yeah, for that candy bar. Three dollars, and there's another one. I think it's it's, it's straw red, it's it strawberry is. cherry, something like that. And they did not have it. We went to several Five Below stores, but just know you can have this candy bar or the other one. We probably we won't be trying it because no. we. After we've looked for it a couple times, if it's if they don't have it in stock, then we're like, well, we'll let somebody else try that. Okay, so the high chews were five ninety nine at Big Lots, but it's a big bag of high chews. It is. It's, I love high chews. It is eleven point six five ounces or three hundred thirty grams. It's the dessert mix. It has candy apple, strawberry ice cream, and key lime pie. So uh, three different ones. Three different flavors. Um, double layer of flavor, it says. Uh, it releases flavor as you chew. Introducing dessert flavored mix, an exciting blend of familiar fruity flavored desserts from the innovators at High Chew. From the minute you unwrap a dessert flavored mix chew, our unique double layered candy transports you on an enjoyable, tasty experience. Made with concentrated fruit juices, no colors from synthetic sources, gluten-free. Uh, these are under the license from Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, 11 servings per container, six pieces, 31 grams is 130 calories. So not refillable. No, not a refillable bag. But each in, they're individually right? Yes, so you don't need a refillable bag, yeah. Okay, so this would be great Halloween candy. I'm already saying. Great, great size. What, what these are, we usually cut these in half, don't we? We do. Or a bite and a half? No, maybe. I don't know, do we? Which one are you going to try first? I don't know. I was just held a package. Let's do... Key lime, candy apple, and strawberry. Right? Let's do strawberry ice cream. No. This is the most frustrating thing about the hot chew is getting it open. Yeah. Because mm. sometimes you, you really, really want it and then you can't <laughs> get it open. You stick a whole thing in your mouth, you're going to be chewing for a while. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. I like the strawberry flavor. I'm glad I didn't put it on my mouth. Mm. Once it softens up, just like any taffy, it's, small, it's easier to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can cut these in half if you want. Okay. I think you should. I like that. I like it too. But you need to know that it's tough. Yeah, they mostly are. They usually are. Um, that, uh, I do like the strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. It, I don't know if I would have said strawberry ice cream. No, it just tastes like strawberry. Um, it may have a creaminess to it. Um, I just get strawberry. I just get, yeah, it's mainly just strawberry. Kind of reminds you of the pink um, Starburst. Starburst. That's bit. exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. I don't think it's as strong as a pink no, Starburst. No, but, but it reminds you of that flavor. Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? Candy okay. apple? Sure. Um, this is how you open these. Yeah, with scissors. Now, candy apple, are you expecting it to Ooh. taste? What are you expecting out of that candy You would apple? think candy apple is just going to be sweet because you know a caramel apple. Oh, it's like candy apple. I'm glad you said that. Caramel apple is caramel. caramel. Candy apples are the ones that are coated with the red uh, oh, sugar coating. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad I asked you them. Yeah. I always, get, always think about it differently, too. Now, that okay. one was a little softer. A little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Definitely has an apple flavor. Mm -hmm. mm. What kind of an apple? Little green apple. Mm -hmm. Got a little um, tartness to it. Mm -hmm. I think so too. There is a. Um, yeah, I don't think they bring the sugar part of that. 
Mm -mm. It's just apple. Jolly Rancher makes sugar-free candy, and I ate a lot of them. And that reminds me of the sugar-free Jolly Rancher uh, apple. green apple. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. Yeah, it's more of a green apple than a... Mm -hmm. Candy apple should be very uh, apple. I mean, you usually do use a green apple, but it's also balanced with a really sweet... Uh, flavor from the coating. Right. That one I don't think is, it's sweet, but it's not balanced that way. I like it. I, I like think it it's too. enjoyable. But does it say candy apple? Just like the strawberry didn't taste like ice cream. I exactly. think sometimes these companies like to um, say things or call things by a certain name that they're not. Uh, what was this one called? Key lime. Key lime. Key lime pie. I think that's been the softest one, texture-wise. That's my favorite one. I like that flavor. I would swear, with key lime pie, I was ready to think, to say, oh, it doesn't have any graham flavor. I swear they even got a graham flavor in Maybe there. a little crust. It's That's, mostly lime, though. Uh, it is, but I would swear that they even did the graham. The, yeah. Like, the whole pie. Like, because you can't call it a pie if you don't taste the graham. Right. I swear that's in there, too. The graham flavor. I think that one, that one is truly what they are calling it. Yeah. It is it, truly really key good. lime pie. And I like lime. I like sweet lime, like candy lime, mm -hmm. anyway. So, I don't like actual limes, but I like candy lime. Right. So, that one is your favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, it would go strawberry, then it would be apple. It's just the... Oh really? Because normally you're I know a I huge usually love apple, apple but fan. I don't know. It's just you didn't like that green. It was okay. It just wasn't what anything. Uh, for me, uh, strawberry is going to be my number one. Okay, I just like the strawberry flavor, and then I'll say I'm going to say probably apple and then key lime. Oh really? It's kind of the opposite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the exact opposite yeah. of you. Uh, but um, I think these are fun. They're good. They, they've got other flavor combinations that I like a lot better. I do too. Yeah. Yes, I would. This is a bag. It's fun. Or if you're, um, I know it's not Halloween time of year, but if you're buying, if you're looking for some kind of different some Halloween different. candy, then this is going to give you a lot of candy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's quite a few we like to keep these in the drawer because they are individually wrapped. Yeah. And it's nice. I don't know if we'll keep all those. I or probably not. won't these because I, I we tried some other ones and the other ones are like they're worth the calories yeah these are some infusion ones and stuff like that those are better than these right and they for us to keep them they really have to we really have to like them a whole lot to want to have that temptation in the house mm -hmm. these are just not worth that temptation right exactly uh so this is the toxic waste slime liquor is it made by Aster? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> That's good. No. We found Aster makes a lot of candy. Aster, uh, yes. Aster chocolate, they, they seem to make a lot of chocolate. This reminds me, just from the look of the picture on the package, it kind of reminds me of the, um, not the picture of the package, just the idea of it. Reminds me of those uh, Reptar candy bars we had. They were green in the middle. They're supposed to turn your. Oh, tongue. the Rugrats, Rugrats from Nickelodeon. Yeah. They're supposed to no, turn No, it was your, a Reptar bar. It's supposed to turn your tongue green. And it did. didn't. Okay. But so this even looks like that a little. So bit. this says toxic waste brand slime liquor blue ras sour filled milk chocolate bar with raspberry puree and other natural flavors. It is 120 calories <laughs> for half the bar. And it says in little letters for half the bar. Uh, this is manufactured for Candy Dynamics Inc. in Carmel, Indiana. Hmm. Toxicwastecandy.com. Okay. It's very runny in the middle. It's very runny in the middle. So just stick all the out. <laughs> it's it's a very it's the sour part. It's so fake and artificial. It's not like a natural sourness. It's like a very artificial sourness. And the blue raspberry is kind of artificial too. I actually like the chocolate. <laughs> mm -hmm. The chocolate's actually really nice. Yeah, and the creamy. chocolate's nice. Although it's really hard to taste the chocolate. It is over the mm -hmm. raspberry. Let me see your tongue. 
Yeah, a little. A little bit. It's very light. It's very light. Yeah, very light. Um, the um, that raspberry is it's very aggressive in your face. It does have a um, a sourness to it that you don't get normally from raspberry. Raspberry like has a a little edge. It's a little, but it's mainly. Uh, especially when you're eating like a jam. It's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. This, of course, has sweetness, but it is mainly sour. Yeah. And it's that not, sour takes over the sour. whole bar. It's not a good sour, though. It's not a fun sour. It's just a... It's it, not one that I would like. It's a very that. artificial, icky sour. Yeah, it is artificial. It's, it's, it's not terrible. I don't think it's bad. No, and honestly, you could eat it. It's not that sour. But, but if just, I'm going to eat a candy bar, this is not going to be my choice. No, it's 100% for kids. Yes, Just absolutely. know that if you do buy this for your kids, it is runny in the center. So if they try to bite into it, it's going to dribble. Because when I broke it in half, it, get, it got all over my thumb. Yeah, so don't get mad if they get it all over them. That's yeah, on you for will. giving it to them. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it will. Get all it, it'll get all over them. Okay, this is the Sour Punch Bites Pickle Roulette. Taste to test your odds. Pickle flavored bites hidden in every pack. <coughs> it says green apple, lemon lime, watermelon, and pickle. So it's three, there's four flavors. Four, four. flavors. There's four flavors. Four. <laughs> four. Four. <laughs> I'm four. Four whole <laughs> I'm four years old. <laughs> um, three and a half servings per container. 10 pieces, 30 grams is 110 calories. Uh, these are made in La Porte, Indiana. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, they're literally all grain. Yeah, so you don't know. I, you know, so even though they, here and have to even though they said that, I did not realize. You know that what the, They would all be grain. I would much rather eat pickle roulette than like hot roulette or disgusting flavor roulette. You know, like the steam boozle, which is dog food and stuff. I'd much rather have pickle. I would too. Yeah, because that bean boozled will get you now. Let me. Okay, you. my the, here's my thing. I it think, smells like sweet and pickle, and it's not it's not a bad smell, but it's just like weird. It's not. Yeah. These are big enough to where we can bite them in half. So I think you go first, bite it in half, and give me the or cut it in half with scissors. Okay. And I eat half, and you eat half. That way, we're we're getting the same one. Okay. And then I'll pick the next one. You get the big piece. <laughs> it's either green apple, lemon lime, watermelon, or pickle. No clue. I think it's a little apple. Got a little bit of apple at the end. I thought that from the beginning too. It's very light. But it's very, very light. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, I would guess that's the apple. It's not, definitely not pickle. No. Watermelon. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent watermelon. You've done good so far. Mm-hmm. Hold oh, on, you gotta give me a second. These, the texture of them, is really easy to eat. Mm-hmm. Really they just easy. get stuck in your teeth a little bit. Yeah, really easy to chew. Um, they're, they're soft. They're not, they're not hard or rubbery. I think that's the, um, apple, apple again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do tend to get stuck in your teeth though. It's only bad though. How many of these can, are we going to eat? I don't know. We got, we got to get a, what's the other one? No. Ew, pickle. Yeah. Oh. It hurts to eat a pickle. Wow. It's just vinegary and um But they did a good job on pickle. They did a good job. It is actually a nice tasting pickle. But <laughs> you don't want that with your candy. <laughs> mm -hmm. After having watermelon and green apple, mm -hmm. um it is hard to have the pickle after. That's when it hurts. You know so, what though? If you had opened the bag and gotten the pickle from the very beginning, you'd be like, there's the pickle. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, just having it amongst other things, it's like, ah, oh, that's painful. But <laughs> this, just like I said, I would much rather do this compared to the other ones. Um, this would be fun for kids. Like think about kids can't, they don't want to do the cinnamon, the hot challenge. 
Right. They probably don't want to do bean boozle where they're eating dog food and, and laundry detergent and stuff like that. You know probably what I mean? not, but if they had been around when our kids were little, well, we, we would have done, done it. it. But and just and I be, would do this. Just to be mean. But this is fun and safe for, for younger kids. For younger kids. Because it's going to be pickle. I mean, you know, they're going to go, ah, pickle. And, you know, that. Right. Yeah. And that, that person uh, either loses or that person has to eat another one. Maybe they have to eat another one or something like that. Yes. This would be a fun family uh, night. Like, okay, we're going to watch a movie and we're going to play the pickle game. And th that would be, that would be fun. Uh, yeah. We would have done all kinds of stuff yeah. with the kids. Yeah. Um, if they, you know, were still little, if they were still living here, we would still torture them. I just think um, this is more geared. Um, I mean, definitely for families or whatever, but I think this one's safe for younger kids to do compared to the other ones. Yeah. So that's what I mean. I'm not going to keep eating until now, I what are we missing? The lemon we're missing the, uh, key, uh, the lemon lime. Lemon yeah. lime. I'm not going to keep eating now, those they're, until... They're okay. The apple was a little lackluster, but the, the uh, watermelon was good. Yeah. these. This is something that I can share with the grandkids. I can yeah. put these back in the bag and they can try to uh, get the pickle. You know, that'll be fun for them. Um, but yes, I think all in all, Kevin's right. I think these are intended for kids. I think this is something for kids. Yeah. What adults um, Well, because I tell you what, when you get to be of a certain age, you realize that um, calories are, are, you know, you, you don't want to waste your calories on something that's not really, really delicious. And so I would rather have a Reese's cup than have this. <laughs> I oh. would, yeah, I would rather enjoy that milk chocolate and peanut butter than have this. And and so you realize those as, those things as an adult. But now the Hachu. Um, These are okay. They're just they're not okay. the best. They're not the best flavors that Hachu make because exactly. I love Hachu. Yeah, I do too. And yeah, these there's other flavors I would prefer as well. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.